Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're taking this 1886 Winchester in 5110 and we're doing a little science project. What we're going to do is we're going to use two different bullets with the same weight of powder. In this case we're using 50 grains of an undisclosed smokeless powder. And we're going to drive them across the chronograph and into some wet books that were donated to us. And they're not Bibles, they're books. So we're gonna do that right quick and see, and let me know, this is a 600 grain woodlay bullet, and this is a two, uh, 425 grain hawk bullet. And we're gonna drive them into that uh, wet books across the chronograph. Which one do you think will be more efficient, the 600 grain bullet or the 425 grain bullet at, with the use of the same 50 grains of powder? So let's get set up and shoot this thing and see what science uh, shows us. All right, up first is the 425 grain bullet. We're shooting it on the right side. 425 grain bullet. We're shooting it on the right side. Wasn't a whole lot of recoil or nothing. It was going 1,297 feet a second. Hopefully y'all can see that. Six hundred grain woodlay bullet. It was actually going a little bit faster. It was actually going a little bit faster. So that's interesting. Thirteen sixty nine. Remember, this is the same exact uh, amount of powder. All right, let's look at what we did. So they're going in there, still going, 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 okay, the 425 grain bullet stopped in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh book. So the 425 grain bullet stopped right here. Undamaged. Well, I mean, it's got a little bit of damage. So, 125 grain bullet stopped right here. Okay, 600 grain bullet still going. So, to put it in there right, we'll put this book back. So, that was the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. Okay, it stopped in the 11th book. It looks like it was totally going sideways. And it was going backwards. So it totally turned around. And it all but penetrated that last book. Because, see, there it is right there at the end of it. So... What was that, 11 and 7? So I guess you could say that was a 711. So there's our bullets. Same as that, uh, grains of powder. A lot of difference. And actually, the this was going faster than this lighter bullet. They didn't damage, this one here took on more damage, but this one here definitely went through more. And if you look at it here, it's still going straight there, but it's starting to turn. And by the time it comes out of that book, it's going sideways, entered that book sideways. And then that's where she entered this book and stopped. 
So that's pretty interesting. So to me, a heavier bullet is more efficient with the powder that's put in behind it. Now, the difference is the lighter bullets, you can add more powder and get them up to higher velocities and they'll fall less. Heavier bullets, you can't get as much powder and they'll fall more. But that's my scientific uh, discovery for today. So I don't know what you guys thought about that, but I think it's pretty interesting that if you look, and of course the bullet profiles wasn't quite the same, but still you look, the heavier bullet had more velocity and it penetrated farther. The lighter bullet had less velocity and of course it penetrated a lot less. But like I said, even with the in the shape of the bullet it still it would have you know it would have turned out very similar is what I believe and I, I enjoy this kind of thing it's just thinking outside the box trying to see what really happens and what is true we knew or at least I figured theoretically that the bigger bullet takes up more powder volume or more room in the shell and if you're taking up more room inside of your cartridge you're compressing the powder more which it should it should make more pressure which in turn should drive the bullet faster where this somewhat shorter cartridge or bullet sitting in that cartridge leaves more air gap which leaves more empty space which would create less pressure so but I mean the truth be told you can actually produce more energy with this lighter bullet by being able to use that extra space inside the cartridge but what we're looking at today is any given amount of energy in other words powder put in here how well does it how well or how efficient is the bullet that sit on top of it at absorbing and transferring that power to the target so that's my so-called scientific study. I don't know what you guys thought about it. I thought it was a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys will come back and see us, and we'll try something new. Thanks for watching. God bless each and every one of you. See you next time.